Welcome back to MBOX Frustrated User Guide. Viewers ask whether I still use my old S805 MXQ MBOX with Android 4.4.2. The answer is yes, almost every day. Even though we have much newer, much faster TV boxes, I still use it as an internet radio. Here's the radio homepage that I set up in Android Launcher. Got radio for Android 4, working here on St. Patrick's Day 2021, streams as well on my MXQ as on any other box. Learn about even more free radio apps at myindieapp.com. Then, download your favorites at apkpure.com. There are dozens of them, and all of them work perfectly on old MXQs. Best of all, my indie apps survive off on cycles. When the radio is playing, you can just turn the box off. Then, when you turn it back on again, tomorrow, next week, it doesn't matter. Just press the OK button on your remote and it starts playing again. To change stations within a My Indie app, just press the up and down buttons. MXQ doesn't have to be connected to a TV to work this way. All you need is an audio cable and an old stereo. Learn more about this by watching MBOX Audio Secrets Parts 1 and 2. If you like music, you won't be disappointed. Great for talk radio, too. Now, as a TV box, MXQ with Android 4, it's not the best. But if that's all you have, then you can still get it to stream fairly well. Just use apps that work, and ignore those that don't. Here's the TV homepage that I set up in Android Launcher. Clock Sync, shown at the upper left, is essential. If you watched MBOX clock problems, then you know how important it is. Next comes Cyro's HD. The ad-free version is one of the fastest MXQ TV apps I've ever used. Learn about Cyro's HD directly from the developer at CyrosHD.com. The latest official version as of today, 3.11.21, is 1.66. Next comes IPTV Pro. All IPTV clients require M3U files, and the best place to learn about them is at Fluxus.tv. This is what Fluxus TV looks like on my MXQ. There are hundreds of channels, and most of them work most of the time. Next comes Miracast. It mirrors whatever is playing on your smartphone to your big screen TV via the MXQ. If you don't know how to do this, please watch MXQ Upgrade Secrets Part 2. Next comes the dependable Terrarium clone Movies Online HD. It's not as fast as Cyro's HD, but it doesn't require a trackpad or a mouse, which makes it much easier to navigate. Get the official version from Pybox Entertainment Studio. Pirate versions of Movies Line HD don't work as well. They might not even work on your MXQ. And finally, there's YouTube. Both official and unofficial versions work fine on MXQ with Android 4. If they're not working for you, and a lot of people claim they aren't working, it's because you haven't applied the MXQ upgrade secrets revealed in MBOX Frustrated User Guide. Here's my complete MXQ with Android 4 app drawer. These apps allow access to more content than anyone could watch in 100 lifetimes. At the same time, these apps only occupy about 1.4 gig of storage space. That's the secret. You've got to allow at least 3 gig of workspace on the embedded multimedia card. People spread out when they work. Imagine chefs and sous chefs in a kitchen. Apps are no different. They need room to work. Storage Truth and RAM Truth help to explain what's going on in MXQ. There's not much room on these boxes, so be sure to delete all of the non-working apps to free up workspace. 
Get both RAM Truth and Storage Truth from apkpure.com. Every episode of MBOX Frustrated User Guide is still just as valid as the day they were published. Watch them again if necessary. All of the upgrade procedures still apply, except that when it comes to recommended apps, there's always a new version. Ignore whatever versions were given in those episodes. Use these instead. These are the new versions that work on MXQ with Android 4.4.2 as we enter the spring of 2021. Pause the video at this spot. Take a screenshot. Write this information down because the old versions given two years ago aren't going to work very well. Even worse, some of the previously recommended apps, Mobdro, Morph TV, Movie Play Red, Movies Time, have since shut down and won't work at all anymore. Use the apps on this list if you want things to work in 2021. And the best place to get Google Play services updates for Android 4 right now is apkmirror.com, not apkpure.com. The third use for an old MXQ, dedicated KBox, gives the most spectacular results of all. But to appease the YouTube censors, we have to talk about it in clandestine terms. Best not to call the K app by name. And best to watch the uncut version of MXQ Upgrade Secrets Part 3 on Dailymotion.com. Ignore the censored YouTube episode. When that video was made, K version 18.4 was the latest version. Since then, I've allowed regular OTA updates through K version 18.9 on my SD card. But allowing that last one was a mistake. Pluto TV doesn't work with K version 18.9, not on my MXQ, not on any other TV box, not with any version of Android OS. Pluto TV starts working again when you upgrade to K version 19, but then Tubi TV and many other K add-ons stop working. So for the time being, best to stay with K version 18.8 Install that upgrade on a fast SD card, not on a slow one, not on a slow USB stick, and you will be amazed what your old MXQ can do. Good luck, and thanks for watching.